one Chelsea transfer target is reportedly excited by the project happening at Stamford Bridge. It's certainly been a turbulent ride during the first two years of this Chelsea ownership, which has included huge activity in the transfer market alongside a regular turnover of managers. The latest appointment in the Blues dugout has been naming Enzo Maresca, the new head coach on a five-year deal. Will Maresca be given time to imprint his ideas and spend several years growing the club? Can he get the most out of an expensively assembled young squad? Journalist Simon Phillips has claimed via his substack that Crystal Palace star Michael Elias is willing to join Chelsea this summer, which was the same when the Blues came calling last year. He's explained that the 22-year-old Palace winger is actually excited by the Chelsea project. Apparently, the Blues are viewed as a more serious option to sign Elias this summer despite rival interest from Manchester United. Chelsea have even stayed in touch with the French attackers representative since last summer when they tried and failed to sign him. Phillips wrote on Substack, the one thing for sure is that Elias was willing to join Chelsea last summer, and he's still willing to now. His brother plays for the academy, and he is excited by the project Chelsea are putting together. Elias, 22, may be another Chelsea target that is fairly young, however, the difference is the Palace talent has proven he's Premier League quality, and can torment top-flight defences with ease. The right winger scored 10 goals in 19 league matches last season, there's so much more to come from the skillful attacker, too. Chelsea's right-hand side would be in very safe hands, with Elias and Noni Madueke next season, it would also allow Blues talisman Cole Palmer to stay central. Speaking via TalkSport last August, Andy Townsend described Palace's Elias as extremely talented, the Chelsea Chronicle thinks he's gone to a different level since as well, Fulham have already confirmed that Tosin Adarabioyo will not be staying at the club after reaching the end of his contract. Chelsea retained strong interest in Benjamin Sesko, and are confident they can rival Arsenal for the RB Leipzig star, if they progress their plans to sign a striker this summer. Sesko is the subject of serious transfer interest after a good season in the Bundesliga, and both Chelsea and Arsenal are in a strong position to land the 21-year-old RB Leipzig hitman. His £56 million release clause raises the chances of a big money move to the Premier League. While Arsenal could look to whittle down that fee in any potential deal with Leipzig, Chelsea may be prepared to trigger that release clause. Arsenal are thought to have been given encouragement that they hold an early edge in the bid for Sesko, but that will not deter Chelsea should they opt to step up their interest. Chelsea have tracked Victor Asimhan for some time, but at this point are not prepared to shell out the more than £100 million that would be required to sign him from Napoli. The Blues also have long-standing interest in Brighton striker Evan Ferguson, but they are not thought to be minded to make a move for the 19-year-old this summer. Nicholas Jackson finished a mixed first season at Chelsea with 14 Premier League goals, and any new arrival would compete with him at Stamford Bridge next term. Enzo Maresca's confirmation as Chelsea's new head coach on Monday will now allow the Blues to press ahead at full steam in all facets of summer preparations. Maresca described his switch to Stamford Bridge as a dream, and the Italian will get straight to work as he seeks to get Chelsea back into the top four. Maresca will officially start work on July 1st but has already been analysing the Chelsea squad on his summer holiday in Marbella. Chelsea believe Maresca is the forward-thinking coach who can become the long-term boss they have craved ever since buying the club in May 2022. The former Manchester City under-23s coach and assistant manager to Pep Guardiola has been recruited on a five-year contract, with the club retaining the option of an extra 12 months. Chelsea's players are already understood to be excited about working with Maresca, who is the Blues' fourth permanent manager in two years. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has given a clear update on Chelsea's intentions for a new striker in the upcoming summer transfer window. The Blues will be looking to sign a new striker in the summer to come in and challenge Nicholas Jackson for that regular number nine spot. Jackson is the only recognised nine at the club currently, with the expectation being that Armando Broja will be sold after a loan away in the second part of the last season. A lot has been said around the kind of striker that Chelsea will be looking to bring in, but Romano has provided a clear update on that. He doesn't have names, but in his latest YouTube video, he does let us know the type of striker they are looking for. As above, Romano says, the intention of Chelsea is to sign a young talented striker this summer, not Victor Asimhan in this moment. I mean, it's rather odd. Asimhan isn't exactly old, is he? Personally, I think not going for Asimhan, is more to do with how much he will cost, with a high release clause and high wages, rather than anything to do with his age. Chelsea do like to buy young and bring in up and coming players, but buying another young striker will surely just stunt the progress of him or Jackson, with both players being young. One could block the other.
Of course, there will be many games to play this season, with European football back at Stamford Bridge again, but I'd certainly be concerned about another young and unproven striker coming in when we already have Jackson. The smart thing to do would be to bring in a more experienced and proven striker so Jackson could learn from him, and they wouldn't block his progress as much, as Simhan has long been seen as Chelsea's top striker target, with the Blues keeping tabs on the 25-year-old for close to two years now as they search for the missing link at the top of their attack. A transfer this summer seemed to be on the cards when he signed a new contract with a release clause worth over £100 million. However, according to Fabrizio Romano, that price tag has contributed to Chelsea's decision to cool their interest in a Simhan who is already also seen as too old for the current Stamford Bridge project. The Blues are still expected to sign a new striker this summer but will search for a cheaper alternative to a Simhan. 90 minutes understands Chelsea are one of the many suitors for RB Leipzig's Benjamin Sesko. Chelsea are also looking to sell a handful of strikers currently on the books, with both Romelu Lukaku and Armando Broja available for transfer this summer. Aston Villa are among the clubs to have shown an interest in Conor Gallagher as he prepares for what could be his Chelsea farewell. Gallagher is in line to captain Chelsea for the final game of the season against Bournemouth on Sunday, which may also be his last appearance for the club. There has been no progress between Chelsea and Gallagher over a new contract, which has left the door open for clubs to make offers for the midfielder when the transfer window reopens. Tottenham Hotspur have been at the front of the queue of clubs, looking at Gallagher and retain a strong interest, with head coach Ange Postecoglou understood to be a big admirer. But Telegraph Sport understands that Aston Villa, who have qualified for next season's Champions League, have expressed an interest ahead of what will be an important summer for the club. There is understood to be a good relationship at board level between Chelsea and Villa, whose young striker John Duron was a target of the London club in January. It is unclear whether Chelsea retain an interest in Duron, but it is highly unlikely they would consider any sort of swap deal for academy product. Gallagher given his sale would count as 100% profit, in terms of profitability and sustainability rules. Like Chelsea, Villa have to be wary of staying within PSR restrictions, which may well limit their summer budget, it could be that any firm move for Gallagher would be dependent on player sales. Chelsea have previously valued Gallagher at around £50 million, and his excellent performances have not diminished his worth, but with one year remaining on his contract, Chelsea's asking price may have to drop. Gallagher will be part of England's squad for the European Championship, and is not thought to be in a hurry to make a decision on his future. While Chelsea will not want to risk him running down his contract, the 24-year-old has not ruled out staying at Stamford Bridge, and is unlikely to be pushed into any move he is unsure about. Tottenham go into the final day of the season, only three points ahead of Chelsea and having failed to qualify for the Champions League, which raises the issue of just how attractive a move across London might be at this particular time. Villa and Spurs are not the only clubs to have registered an interest in Gallagher, who could start speaking to foreign clubs in January about a free transfer move next summer if he did remain at Chelsea.